Wikipedia is among the world's most requested, published, accessed, and consulted sources of information in all fields, including for health and medicine. Anyone wishing to share public health information with the largest and most diverse audience possible should consider what place Wikipedia has in the global multilingual media ecosystem. All journalists, students, policymakers, healthcare providers, and the information seeking public have been finding Wikipedia articles in response to internet search since the mid 2000s. Every communication professional should have an opinion on how Wikipedia influences thought and public opinion in their field of practice. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm Wikimedian at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. At the school, I support students and researchers in sharing information and research in Wikipedia so that it can reach an audience. I'm going to explain what Wikipedia is, how, why you should care about it, and how you can engage with it. Wikipedia is an extremely popular source of information. Because Wikipedia is digitally native, we track how many people have read every article in Wikipedia. We do this every day, and we do this for every language. Because of this, we know that Wikipedia is extremely popular in health because we have the statistics which show how many people are reading every article on a disease, a drug, a medical condition, a therapy, a treatment, a social issue in health and medicine, or medical specialties. If you wish to engage with Wikipedia, then you can check out this traffic. If you'd like to know more about traffic in Wikipedia, then you can check out the body of academic literature in general, or the health reviews of Wikipedia's content in particular. You can jump into Wikipedia and access these traffic reports yourself because Wikipedia is a free and open nonprofit community project. Anyone can access the traffic reports without even registering. They're there for you to take. Or finally, if you like, you can just ask a Wikipedian to give you a tour of these things. Wikipedia is a volunteer community, and if you go into the platform and ask a question, people will refer you and help you find the information that you'd like. Wikipedia is a fact-checked community platform which strives to have the most reliable and correct information that we can find. A lot of people get anxiety about publishing content into Wikipedia because they hear that anyone can edit. And while it's true we invite editors from all sorts of backgrounds to edit Wikipedia, we do have an editorial process and fact-checking in place. It's challenging for me to briefly explain how Wikipedia's fact-checking works, but in summary, we have human fact-checkers who check many things. We have robots who give the humans ideas of what they should check and do some fact-checking themselves. And we also have a process in between with semi-automated reviewing where humans and robots work together and try to make sure that the content is good. If you'd like to know more about how this works, again, there's a body of academic literature which compares the quality of Wikipedia's information with the quality of other media sources that are available. You can go into Wikipedia yourself, explore the platform, and check out these fact-checking processes yourself, or you can go into Wikipedia and talk with Wikipedia volunteers. If you ask them what you want to see, then they'll give you a referral to how you can access that. They'd be happy to help you. There's a lot of silly content published on many websites on the internet. And in my opinion, Wikipedia competes favorably against other media options in terms of quality and accessibility of language. Wikipedia is a free and open community platform. And if you're considering how you should invest your time and labor in achieving some kind of communication goal, then in my opinion, Wikipedia is among the cheapest and best options for a person who's seeking information, and it's among the cheapest and best options for someone who's trying to share information as well. If you'd like to get engaged in Wikipedia, then here's my advice to you. While I do think that every communication professional should know a little about Wikipedia editing, I think that your time would be better spent, especially if you don't have any past history with Wikipedia, in learning how to calculate audience readership before you learn how to actually edit Wikipedia articles. Don't get me wrong, editing Wikipedia articles is absolutely essential to the experience, and you can't understand Wikipedia if you don't know a little about editing. However, if there's particular information that you'd like to share, 
and you collect a list of the Wikipedia articles that's presenting those topics, you can calculate the audience metrics for how many people are reading those articles. And then you, once you have those readership metrics, you can compare that count of the audience, that audience size, to the audience that you'd expect to reach doing the kind of communication that you already do. The reason you should do this is because if you find Wikipedia's large and attractive audience in your field to be desirable and you know how many people you would reach doing what you're already doing, then you can think about what it would cost to continue doing what you're doing versus what would it cost for you to edit Wikipedia. And I think that in many cases you'll find that if you're sharing public benefit information, that is, you're not doing marketing, you're not trying to sell a product, but you're really trying to help the public, you'll find that Wikipedia is an extremely low-cost, high-impact way to reach a large audience. Thanks for your interest in Wikipedia. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Lane Raspberry, Blue Raspberry on Wikipedia. I hope to see you around the wikis. Thank you.